In this video tutorial, we'll talk about um, how to define a class and um, and the effects of a class uh, uh, at the outer router level. Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, I'm going to use one of the schematics that we already have that come with Eagle, which is the hexapod. It's a very simple schematic, but uh, very effective for our examples that we're going to be using. I already have the schematic open, so I'm just going to switch to it. Um, in my schematic, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you see here I have a ground defined. I'll just go to the properties here that way you can see um, my my ground lines. And you notice that the net class right now is is supplied. And how did that net class get defined? It's pretty easy. If you go to um, <coughs> edit net classes, it allows you to define up to eight different net classes and um, I like leaving the default one alone that way it will just take the effects from uh, the design rule check directly from the board then I'll create another one and in this case we're calling it supply and we're giving it a wire width of 45 mils and when you see drill hole size zero and the clearance is zero it, does, it doesn't mean that it's going to use a hole size of zero for the vias what it means is it's going to use a value set under DRC Okay, so my ground connections in this, as we could see, if we go to properties here again, um, have been assigned the option, uh, the supply. They've been assigned supply one. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go over to the board now. On the board, I'll turn off this menu. Have more some more drawing space. Um, I'll show ground. That way, my ground highlight. That way, it's easy for me to identify. Now, I'll do a right click and go to properties on one of mine. And you'll notice that the net class was carried over from the schematic over to the board. So that ground, that connection called ground, uh, has been uh, um, has been associated with net class supply. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the auto router and. Um, we're going to see what width is going to be used for that particular connection. According to my net classes, it's assigned to route that line at a 45 mil. So let's see if it actually does that. So let me just run the auto router. I'm not going to make any modifications to the auto router. Uh, I might just eliminate the optimized run since we're not really, this is only for demonstration purposes. Um, and I'm just going to leave all the other default values alone. So we'll just let it run at this. Um, so the idea is to see if Eagle is able to route uh, the ground connections at a 45, at 45 mil. Well, you could see that um, my ground is being uh, routed at, at 45 mils. Uh, apparently, there were some other traces or some other signals associated to uh, 45 mil as well. Uh, wouldn't surprise me maybe if the ground and the VDN, the ground and the power for this board uh, were assigned to class uh, 1 as well, which was the supply. It was for all the supplies. So, you could easily see here now that my outer router has routed these lines at a uh, 45 mil wire width. We'll go to the properties. And you see, and they have a width of, oh, let me just go to, let me change my grid inches, make it a little easier to read. Click OK and go to the properties here. And you'll notice that my wire width uh, being used for those lines is 45 mil. And the other one, the remaining um, lines are not associated to a class. We're routed at 16 mils, which is our default settings. Okay. So this was another demonstration. Um, you're showing you how the net class works and you could associate up to eight different net classes. Um, this is another tutorial presented by CATSoft USA. Uh, for information, go to catsoftusa.com or send us an email to support at catsoftusa.com. My name is Ed. Thank you very much and have a great day.